These are the top stories of the week. Google invades your home, Mario might invade the movies, and everything else you need to know. There is no way to avoid it, Google made waves. First up, Google announced Google Home, its Amazon Echo competitor. No pricing was announced, but it's expected later this year. Google also showed off a new version of Android Wear. It will have a new interface, handwriting support, and apps won't need a phone to work. Then there's Google's VR solution called Daydream. It's not an actual product, it's a platform for manufacturers to develop phones and headsets that work better than Google Cardboard. And lastly, Google showed off two new messaging apps called Allo and Duo. For more information on all of that, we've got that covered at CNET.com. Nintendo might be getting into the movie making business, according to a report by Japanese daily newspaper Asahi. Currently, Nintendo wants to partner with a movie production company and is talking to several right now. Filmmaking would be a standalone business with movies hitting Japan, the United States, and other countries. Nintendo aims to get its first movie released in two to three years. Maybe we can get a good Super Mario Bros. movie. Fingers crossed. A company called Auto is in the news. It retrofits trucks to be self-driving. The company is made up of former employees of Google, Tesla, and Nokia here. Auto's tech uses a combination of cameras, LiDAR, and radar to handle the driving. The company has already conducted tests with a safety driver in the back seat and other tests with no safety driver at all. And before you say it, yes, The Simpsons predicted this. So much more news to know, let's go rapid fire. Nokia's back in the phone game, sort of. Nokia licensed out its name to a company called HMD, which will produce Android phones. In a Securities and Exchange Commission filing, it was revealed that Berkshire Hathaway has a $1 billion stake in Apple. Bloomberg reports Twitter will no longer count photos or links as a part of its 140 character limit. That could happen in the next few weeks. And Uber confirmed that it is testing self-driving cars in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now you're all caught up in tech. To get your daily dose of tech news, check out CNET.com slash update. For a weekly dose, hit up CNET.com slash radar. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.